Now we're ready for the beetle. The beetle uh, is going to respond to the reset button. Every sprite you have needs to respond to the reset message. So when it receives reset, it stops the other scripts in the sprite, so the beetle will stop moving. So that's just the reset code there. Uh, you can reset the position if that makes sense, uh, but you're about to see why I don't bother doing it here. When the green button is clicked, it's going to go to a random position. So when I hit play, I'm hitting play over and over again, you'll see that it goes to random positions. However, there is a slight problem. I saw it, there it is. I don't want the beetle to start right next to the player. I want there to be some distance in between. And so what we're gonna do, there's repeat until this right here happens. And this is the distance to the player. And where did I get that? I went to distance two, right there. Distance to player and is greater than a value, and the value I chose is 100. You could choose any, well, if you choose a number too big, uh, it can't be, the player starts in the middle, and if you look, you can drag the bug around. The furthest it can go is about 230 or so, so it's never gonna be more than 230 away from the player. Uh, I could go way out to 200, and we'll experiment a little bit here. So repeat until the distance is far. This statement just basically says repeat until the distance to the player is far, more than 200, and then we're gonna to go to a random position. There we go. And you may wanna to go to a random position at first. So we'll first go to a random position, and then we'll check if the distance is not far enough, we'll go to a random position. And we'll keep going to a random position until we're far enough away. And you actually can see it kind of flipping around as it, uh, hopefully it's showing up on the recording. But it's basically failing to be far enough in here. Now I think 200 is much bigger than we need. Oops, so I'm gonna go to just a smaller number like 100 right there. And it should be much easier to just be 100 away. So that will reset the bug to a random position. Next, we're going to look at how to actually chase the player.